On a late Minnesota winter day near Cloquet, DNR wildlife research biologist Dave Garcellis is looking for a bear. Today he'll have help from one seven-year-old second grader and about a dozen enthusiastic University of Minnesota students. So I'm really excited to get the chance to see some actual bear cubs. I've, I've never really got a seeing up close and wild like this. I think this is definitely one of those bucket list things that you have, you know. We're coming to a bear den to check on the health of the bear, change the radio collar, put a new GPS unit into it, see what her weight is, and especially see if she's had cubs. Garcellus gathers his group and gives them final instructions. When we get there, we have to be quiet as we approach the bear. Even though they're hibernating, um, a lot of times they are alert. Have their head up or whatever, looking around. Then the group is off through knee-deep snow and scrubby brush until this internationally renowned bear biologist locates his mark. She's in an open nest. So I'll bring you guys up a little bit closer. But once you get there, just take a position and stay. Don't even be crunching around in the snow, okay? Garcellus quietly goes about his work, preparing a tranquilizing syringe and stealthily moving to a spot where he can peek through the gnarly roots of a downed tree to inject the mother bear. Then he waits. Our focus has always been population dynamics. You know, we're, we're not really studying behavior or whatever of bears, we're studying population dynamics. We want to look at what drives the population, what causes mortality, what causes better reproduction. Bear number 5005 does have cubs. Got to be at least two. I hear two voices. Those two furry little voices are quickly packed into the coats of the wide-eyed college students. That's pretty incredible. I really like working with students um, of all ages because, you know, you figure that you really are inspiring somebody. The mother bear is carried from her den. One, two, three. Then the real work begins. Garcellus puts ointment in the bear's eyes, examines her paws, and checks her mouth. Really good. Nothing's broken. Nice and white. This is hands-on learning. Bear number 5005 has blood drawn, hair samples taken, and her body fat measured. Well, I'm measuring now both the, there's the hair, the skin, and the fat are all in one clump here. Students also get a chance to listen to a hibernating heartbeat. So the cool thing about their heart, during the winter, it actually synchronizes with their breaths. So they basically only breathe, they only, their heart only pumps when they breathe. And it pumps several times. So they take a breath and their heart goes pop, 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 pop. And then they have a long gap. Garcellus replaces the collar along with the GPS unit, which provides researchers with data. When we used to do it, just from an airplane, we just got uh, 20 locations a year. Now we have lots of locations. We find out that they make some pretty substantial movements. The mother bear is weighed. All right, 222. And measured tip to tail. 150. Then she's carefully put back in her den. Yeah, flip her all the way over. Next, it's the cub's turn to get examined and weighed. Six pounds. After a final couple of photos... Smile! <laughs> look up, look up, look up. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, they're so adorable. The cubs are gently returned to their mother. Just right into this leg. That's it. For Garcellus, this field trip is about more than just taking measurements. And I remember when I got started, you know, a few opportunities that I had to go out with a graduate student or a professor that was very inspiring to me. And I want to be able to kind of pay that forward. <laughs>